How's it going guys? This is an updated lighting and color video for Escape from Tarkov. And in this video, we're going to turn what our base game looks like, this, into this. Which is a lot easier to see everything, whether you're indoors or outdoors, you know, textures inside the interchange, you're going to be able to see much better. It's also very simple and easy to do, and it's not going to get you banned like the recent filter dilemma. As you can see, these are some pretty impressive results, and we achieve these results without even using post effects. Although we do use post effects at some point in this video in conjunction with these settings to achieve an even better effect. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to achieve this effect. You can do this while you're in-game, you don't have to. Um, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, the NVIDIA control panel is the place where you're going to want to go. So either find it in your tray right here, or search for it in your start bar. If you're not on an NVIDIA graphics card, you can look at your graphics settings and find your gamma and brightness settings in there or you can look at your display settings and find your gamma and brightness in there you don't actually have to use your monitor settings navigate down to the adjust desktop color settings this contrast bar right here we're not going to touch however we are going to crank our gamma up until it is very bright and keep in mind this isn't going to be the final result so you're going to be cranking up higher than uh, how it looks to you and then you're going to be turning down the brightness to compensate for the extra bright image and then you just turn down the brightness until it looks about accurate to what the game should look like we're going to uh if we want to keep these settings we can hit apply forever however if we don't want to keep these settings forever we can just minimize this and whenever we want to get rid of these settings we can just close this window or we can press the cancel button down here and it will revert our settings back to the normal ones and we will also have to increase our gamma and decrease our brightness or just increase our brightness if we're going to use the post effect settings that'll show you in a little bit All right, so here are the post effects settings that I'm going to show you. So when we get into our post effects, we're not going to touch the brightness, saturation, or clarity. So if you want saturation, change your colorfulness because that actually changes the vibrance. Now, the color grading we're going to be using is Chill Wave from the numbers between 20 and 50, depending on your situation. Now, the more you increase Chill Wave, the more you're going to have to increase your gamma because Chill Wave has a darkening effect. However, it does also have a detail bringing effect to the image that when you increase your gamma, it can have some much better visibility effects. The last one of each of these examples is with the post effects on. 